Hey everyone, Erica here and I am back today with another video for you. <laughs> so if you couldn't already tell, I have a special guest with me on my channel today. This is my fiance, JD. Welcome to the YouTube world. Thanks. How are you feeling? I feel good. If you couldn't already tell by my description for this video, I'm going to be doing the uh, Disneyland tag. I was tagged by my friend Paola Gem here on YouTube. She also has an Etsy shop, so be sure you go check her out. She actually made me these gorgeous custom floral Mickey ears, um, so go follow her. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Um, there's about 18 questions, and we're just going to give our opinion okay so first question is which Disney parks have you visited I've been to Disneyland and California Adventure that's it <laughs> well those are good ones I've been to Disneyland California Adventure and I've been to Walt Disney World twice not to throw it in your face or anything but twice um, I really want to go to Disneyland Paris and Tokyo I just think that would be cool but no, I haven't been there. What is your earliest Disney Park memory? Uh, I think when I was maybe three with my mother's parents, my grandparents. Um, I think that's the first time I've been to Disneyland, I'm, although I'm not sure. That's pretty good. You remember back when you were three years old. Well, my parents also had videotapes of it, so uh -huh. we were able to see it later. Okay. I, what's my earliest memory? I do remember when like Indiana Jones was just opening and I went with my mom and my dad and I had to watch a parade twice because I wasn't old enough to get on Indiana Jones yet. So I had to sit and watch the parade with my mom while my dad went on Indiana Jones. And then I had to sit and watch a parade with my dad while my mom went on. And I think that's pretty early because I have a terrible memory. Like I don't remember anything as a kid. So I think that's pretty good. Okay. So which is your favorite part? If I had to pick one, probably California Adventure. <laughs> I just like the rides better. I'm gonna tell Mickey. That's fine. Okay. Mine, I have to say Disneyland. I, I mean, I love California Adventure, but still, I just, not more than Disneyland. Just Disneyland's a classic, and it's my favorite place in the whole wide world, so of course I'm gonna pick Disneyland. Okay, moving on. Question number four is, which on-site hotels have you stayed at? None. None? No. Okay. I've stayed, I've only stayed at the Disneyland Hotel, which is really cool. This is Zoe, our weenie dog, in case you haven't seen her bumping into every one of my videos. She's a big old attention seeker, so she probably will be interrupting us from time to time. Oh, yeah. So I've only stayed at the Disneyland Hotel, but I'd love to stay at the Grand Californian Hotel. Oh, I just wish with my whole heart. Hey, <laughs> Zoe! <laughs> Uh, what is your favorite Disney holiday photo? Um, I think we have a couple from Christmas. Yeah. Well, mine is that too. I think we have like a really, really nice one right in front of the big Christmas tree. You know, we have one at like the Christmas tree at California Adventure and at, um, Disneyland. But there's one that we went during Christmas time and it was pouring. So we're wearing like ponchos in front of the Christmas tree. That's a good one. Yeah. And they were kid ponchos, remember? Mm-hmm. Hardly fit into them. Which is your favorite castle? My favorite castle? Yeah, like you know how in the little storybook, storybook, like you can, there's like all the castles. It doesn't have to just obviously be like Sleeping Beauty's castle. <laughs> Process of elimination. My favorite Disney type castle is the Aladdin. Uh, what is it called? Agrabah. Yeah, the palace. The Sultan's yeah. palace. Okay, I really like Elsa's castle in Frozen. If that was like a real, that was pretty cool. That would be my choice. What is your favorite land slash area? I like where Indiana Jones is. That's Oops. Adventureland. Yeah. You like it there? Yeah. Adventureland is pretty cool. I'd have to say like... Or Space Mountain. Sorry. Like that's those. Tomorrowland. Well, I like both of those. Okay. <laughs> I would pick... For California Adventure, I'd probably pick Cars Land because it's really cool. But for Disneyland, I'd probably say Fantasyland and Adventureland. I like Adventureland, too, because it has a lot of cool rides. Moving on. We're just breezing right through. What is your all-time favorite ride? At Disneyland, probably have to go with Space Mountain. Ah, uh, I was going to say that. 
Yeah. Space Mountain. What about California Adventure? Mm, Haunted Hotel. Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror, whatever it's called. <laughs> Ew, those are my two favorites. <laughs> Sorry. Well, those are my answers too, guys, in case you're wondering. Space Mountain because it's so fun and I get the giggles every time I'm on that ride. And Hollywood Tower of Terror because it's awesome. Moving on. What do you think is the most underrated ride? Uh, you go first. Uh. Okay, good, because I don't want you to say the one I want to say, so I'm glad you let me go first. I'm going to pick Casey Jr. coming oh, down wow. the track. I love that ride. You don't like it? Not really. No, it's so fun, and I love the song. I think just the song puts me in such a good mood, and I think that ride is super underrated, because there's never a line, ever. Okay, what's yours? Maybe Captain EO. Really? Or, no, not Captain EO, um... Star Tours? The Star Tours, yeah. I always get those confused. Yeah, that is a pretty cool ride. But the line is long on those, I feel. No? What do you think is the most overrated ride? You go first again. Oh, I was hoping you were going to go first so I could just copy your answer. Overrated. Overrated. Oh, I know. It's a small world. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You were? It's... I'm not... Okay. I know that that sounds really bad because it's a small world. is so, like, Disneyland, but... I don't ever really feel the absolute need, absolute need to get on that ride when we go. I think Pirates of the Caribbean, same. It's the same thing. Because that's a really good ride. Well, I just think unless you have oh, babies. And, and Haunted Mansion. Really? That oh ride. my gosh, you're crushing my heart. That ride's boring. It's like a classic. Okay. Don't tell We're going to have to discuss this later. Don't tell Christine. I'm going to tell her. What is your favorite show slash parade? I want to go first. I want to go first. Okay. Okay. My favorite show at California Adventure is the Aladdin show because it is so amazing. I remember like the first time I saw it, I wanted to cry. Oh, I love that show so much. And at Disneyland. Oh, and World of Color at California Adventure. I love that show. Um, Disneyland. What's my favorite show at Disneyland? Or really parade. Shows there. Yeah. We're not too... I really, although we did catch like some of that drumming summer Mickey's music parade last time, and that was pretty cool. Like Mickey was jamming out on the drums, remember? That was pretty cool, so I'll go with that. Um, I like Aladdin also. It's a and good show. I think because uh, we always seem to be going around Christmas time, so like the Christmas parades oh, are cool. Oh, good one. That's a good answer. I love that. That's a good one too. Do you enjoy meeting characters? Uh, yeah, it's cool. Really? I thought you were gonna say no for sure. It's. Do you want to know something so embarrassing? What? Sometimes when I'm waiting in line to meet a character, I my hands start to sweat and I get nervous because I feel like I'm meeting the real character, but then I forget that there's just people. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I know. I swear, I get like I will. Move some little kids out of the way because I am dying. Especially if it's like Mickey or Minnie. I don't care how many times I met them. It's happening for like the 80th time. What characters have you met and who was your favorite? Like Mickey and his yeah. friends. Yeah, because it's hard to say like how many you've met. I mean, I've been a lot, so I couldn't really tell you every person, every character. Minnie, Mickey Mouse. Mickey? Yeah. And I like Minnie Mouse, of course. But I get so excited to meet Mickey when we go to his house. Like, I always will wait because I just love him. And last time we went, we got so lucky because right when we walked in the park, he was right there. It was awesome. What is your favorite restaurant? You already know mine. You're probably going to pick mine because you just want the easy answers. Well, you can go first. Okay. So the plaza you can, you in... Only, you only get one, though. Because you're going to try to take two. Well, California Adventure no, Disneyland. No, no. It's one for the whole thing. Oh. Mine's the Plaza Inn at Disneyland. I love that place, the fried chicken. If you haven't eaten there, fried chicken dinner is what it's about. That is like the best fried chicken it's ever. It's pretty good. It's good. The Ariel's Grotto Bar at California Adventure is pretty much the best place to have a nice beer. <laughs> Or any other kind of alcoholic beverage at California Adventure. Yeah. And the food is really good as well. Except this time we had a huge 
beetle uh, or what are they called? June bug. It was not a June bug. Well, the green. Leave a comment in the comment box below if those green and blue beetles that they're are not like blue, this they're green. Well, they're like greenish blue. I've always called those June bugs. They're not June bugs. June bugs are like the small brown ones. My YouTube peeps are gonna have my back. Well, anyways, one of those flew into our nachos. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot where we were going with that. Anyway, so that was the last time. And we time. got a, a free batch of nachos, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Success. Yeah, that place is super good. If you've never been, it's like right where our, right where Ariel's Grotto is, directly like behind it. It is like a bar area and there's not as much there's not as long as a wait as there is here for Ariel's Grotto I feel like there's forever a wait there so that's like our secret spot and we're passing it on to you so you're welcome I don't think it's that much of a secret yes it is Shh. do you have any Disney traditions oh, I would say going on my birthday yeah that's a pretty solid tradition wow. and I think like going around Christmas time is almost kind of like one for us too yeah but I mean doesn't that mean traditions as like when we're there like stuff that we do what do we always do what do we always you always get a corn dog i always get a corn dog that's another favorite food I don't know. well let's just roll with the corn dog and going on my birthday on my birthday how old am i i just turned 25 and we started dating you took me to disneyland on my birthday when i was 21 because oh. we went to vegas and then on the way there i thought that Vegas was on your birthday. It was, but you took me like in September. Oh. And that was the first. Sorry, confused me. Oh, sorry. And that was the first time that World of Color was even out. Remember oh, that? Yeah. What is your most fond Disney Park memory? No. You go first. No, I really, I need to think. Let's rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors. I win. You have to go first. Uh. You're keeping the folks at home in well, anticipation. I can, like, edit it, so that's why. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's why I need you to go first. I don't... Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, my... <clears throat> what is my fondest Disney memory? I have a few. I have, like, the first time that you and I went to Disneyland. It was so much fun because... I don't know. It was just my first time going to my favorite place with my favorite person. And then it was also... A lot of fun when we went with my mom and my aunt. Had a lot of like fun times there, just goofing off. And then I just recently went for my 25th birthday with my stepmom and my dad. And I had a good, like a lot of memories that time too, just experiencing the whole park with them. I don't know if I can necessarily like just cram that into one trip or one memory specifically, but it was fun. Uh, maybe our. First time we did the park hopper. Yeah. That was cool. Okay, we're almost done here. What is your favorite thing you've bought in the parks? I don't buy too many things. I know you do. <laughs> okay, well. Well, I'll just say. Yeah, it's. Oh, candy. <laughs> your favorite thing was the candy? Yeah, the, the chocolate nuts. And the, the goofy sours, they're really good. Moving on. <laughs> My favorite thing, I buy a new set of ears every trip I take, so all of my ears, I love my ears. What about your shoes? Maybe shoes, I got you those. Oh, oh my gosh, those are my favorite. For an early Christmas gift last year, JD bought me those mini slippers that have like the, they look like big old Minnie Mouse shoes with the red bows and everything. Those are, I love those. And just this last trip, because we are just like newly engaged, if you didn't already know that. Um, oh, I'm not wearing my ring. I did the, I was cooking and I took it off. Oops. I lose points. Sorry. I bought this picture frame and you put like your wedding picture in it and it has like Mr. and Mrs. Mickey hats on the picture frame. So that's definitely going to be one of my favorite things that I bought from there once I put a picture in it. Okay. We're down to the last question. Describe your dream Disney holiday. I guess it'd be cool to stay in the Grand California Hotel so, to experience that one time. Yeah, me um, too. And then just maybe one one park each day and stay stay uh, maybe two nights at that hotel. That would be fun. Oh, on Christmas time. But 
I know that hotel is very expensive. A million dollars a night. Pretty much. That doesn't include parking. Mine would be to go to Walt Disney World or o Olani, the Hawaii, oh, yeah. the Disneyland Hawaiian well, I didn't Hotel. Know we could include those. Disney, not just Disneyland. Oh yeah, then definitely Hawaii. And then I would love I I feel like the Grand Californian is like our most like our best goal that we could probably achieve eventually. It's like the closest to us, do you think? Yeah. Well, eventually. I don't mean closest like distance i mean once i get some bucks <laughs> okay we'll get it going trying okay <laughs> all right guys well that is it for our disney tag i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment box below if you would like to see more videos with jd i'm sure he would be thrilled to be in some more videos with me and zoe would like to make some more appearances too aka the rock you're good looking all right, guys, um, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Wave bye.